but you know, whatever, I don't need the level. Alright. Because Semilacum is like pretty easy to die. But we won't die until, like, probably until, like, at least wave 18 plus will be when it becomes... You have to start paying attention. Remember this ramshackle you've stood against so many horrors and survived. I think it's time to at last test your limits. Oh. But for these first waves, I'm just gonna... I could probably, I AF I could probably AFK almost. I mean, I do have to resummon the skeletons every 40 seconds, I guess. So, I usually do it more often than that, though, because they uh, only are immune for, like, the first four seconds, and then they're very squishy, so... Getting them out every four seconds is, you know, or every eight seconds, I guess. You got double cast of it. Probably ideal. So, uh, it's nice that we have this as a straightaway here, because I can just, like... These guys will shoot everything from right here. Uh, it'll just be scary when we get uh, the boss, though. Because we can't really tuck him in a corner. Maybe we can? When I'm ready and not before. We're gonna have to be a little careful because the straightaway with the boss is bad because he has a lot of directed attacks that go in one direction. And you can't really, uh, I guess we'll fight him over here where we can maybe dodge some of it. Those uh, diff cards, I guess. This is only the beginning. Wave three. I guess this is also a decent spot to stand because it's shoot in both directions here. For the T. I mean, assuming you can tank the damage because you're going to take the most damage at this corner. At this, uh, everybody converges here. So, whenever you have a, something where you have to do like a lot of minions, your flasks are pretty much going to be up the whole time because you're going to be always killing something. Like a lot of things. So that is nice. Different than bossing. Bossing, it's really like you're just not going to have your flasks <laughs> unless you blast them down in one by the duration of one blast thing. Um, or be Pathfinder, I guess. Or have a Mage Blood. I guess there's some options now. For um, consistent flasks during bosses. But the strategy is still mostly just blast the boss so hard that one level of flasks is enough. And then you actually roll your flasks not automated, you roll it just powerhouse. You roll the kindling orbs. Go for the powerhouse version. I'm just like, love the automation. I never do that. Let yourself be drawn into the Once they added the automated flasks, I was like, sold forever. The only time I'll go the other way, I think, is if I get a mage blood. Because then, then they're always on anyway, so it doesn't matter. You don't have to press anyway. So, and I'm actually perfectly set up for Mage Blood right now, too, right? Because the max you can get is four magic. So the, the, we would leave the Taste of Hate as the one automated. But you could also run Bottle Faith, maybe. And not before. It might be actually better to... For the offensive, it would be better to run Bottle oh. Faith, maybe. Plus, Bottle Faith gives, like, a pretty good amount of regen. So, it actually might be good for me to run Sulfur Flask. Uh, like, even just a regular Sulfur Flask. 
because uh, the regen is nice. So uh, my AG died the last time I did this, by the way. So we'll see if he survives today. It might have been my fault, though. I think I died and then resummoned my dudes and forgot to re-put my uh, bone offering in, so he didn't have the block. That was a rookie, rookie necromancer mistake. But he might have died anyway. I mean, we had Hostess out or whoever. We have the big boy. The big daddy. And the big daddy on like 20, 25 plus wave is not even, it's, it's, it's actually ridiculous. I can't even believe it. They, it's basically the reaction of GGG to the community asking for more like harder content for the people that blitz. Cause usually, um, most builds that are going for simulacrum farm will be able to, uh, you know, smash simulacrum with their build and just like constantly farm it, right? So you're only going to get whatever the normal simulacrum is worth for 20 waves. But now that you can do 30 waves out of these, I'm surprised that they're not more expensive now. You know, maybe because it's still too hard to do. Like it's like the uh, feared, basically. Like the feared is super cheap, but like the guardian one is super cheap. Uh, I mean, the fear is super, yeah, the fear is super cheap, but the Guardian one is super expensive, comparatively, because with the Guardian one, um, it's really easy to do, and it's consistent currency. Um, you know, it's the easiest one to do, I should say. It's not easy to do, but it's the easiest one to do. So, you know, I need more money. not every build can do Simulacrum or the fear, I guess, so maybe that's why. But I also think it's because of uh, like the new Atlas stuff. It's now maybe easier to to have consistent delirium. When I'm ready and not before. And with uh, scarabs being more plentiful, uh, you don't have to worry about trading for scarabs as well. You can just trade for delirium. And I think if you're only trading for like one resource, but you can automate everything else, uh, it might convince people that it's not that annoying. Yeah, because uh, most of the reason why I haven't done a lot of delirium uh, stuff previously is just because it's like requires a lot of setup. You know, you gotta get the maps, you gotta trade for the delirium orbs, you gotta set up and you roll everything right, and and then you have to have a build that's like willing to do it and like you know not die to the craziness. Because there is a lot of like this, they like. Regular delirium minions do like a lot of these like degens and they throw down like bombs and stuff and the ice stuff. You Dumb. This Once they added the uh, ailment immunity on uh, purity, it, I think that's been like a way easier way to get Nothing you do matters. defenses against the these type of interactions. Will pass into the next world. So. He had one job, but not killing my AG. My AG like dies every time I play a minion build. I never really invest in a really tanky AG. I have him as just meat shield right now. I think uh, if I get the uh, divergent for the extra life, it might he might survive. But I'm also doing like ridiculous content too. So like, this is not the normal content that you really should be. This is like the. You know, it's a hard hard bosses for summoners have always been in a position where um, do I think my AG's tank enough or do I think that I should un you know deactivate you know not summon him for the boss fight basically. Um, finish the boss and then bring him back for the for normal maps that aren't as hard. 
that's always been like a, a minion strategy. And I think when they changed around like the stuff, when they changed around the, the like on Heist, they added new uh, alternate qualities and stuff like that. Uh, they lowered, I think they lowered like all the minion health and people were like a little bit in an uproar about it, but I think it was mostly because there's like, there's many more options for giving them health now. I need more mana. That they still need to make it challenging for minion builds. Like you couldn't just have it so that every minion is so tanky it never dies. Although that would be ideal, but it would leave you not really many places to go in terms of upgrade. minions. So I usually end up don't playing a traditional minion build that often because it's just a lot of micromanaging and then it's also not great for the frames of the game if you're having like content like this but I guess this league hasn't been too bad with the slowdowns. It's been mostly okay. There was like one time where I was had like really high ping and I think that was like situational. Although I need one of these. Wind screams. I guess I'll take a look at that. Do you not wonder what Probably comes 12. at the strings of fate? What stands astride the abyss? I was talking about Necromancer fail. Yeah, that's the, that was me fall. killing my animated guardian. AG is animated guardian. He's the guy that's like walking around with this big staff right here in the middle. You can, uh, it's actually really cool. You can uh, drop items on the ground and then um, summon him carrying the items. Um, and he can have a weapon set. Uh, so like any two-hander weapon, except for bows, he can't use bow and quiver, but he can have like a two-hander maul or something, or he could have a staff, or he could have a, a, a like a sword or a mace and a shield, or he can dual wield. Uh, you know, stuff like that. So you give him gear and you can give him a chest piece uh, and a helmet and uh, gloves and boots and so I give him like stuff that has like stuff like nearby allies do more damage and stuff so no why he's standing around me I do you know all the other minions do more damage uh, so it works out pretty nicely I'm running my precision yeah so it's pretty cool because that also means that people can have a lot of diversity in their minion build because they can provide the AG can provide a lot of different utilities, right? You can you can give him like things that make everybody faster, you can give him things that, you know. You know, he has there's a weapon that gives everybody fortify and calling strike. That's probably the best weapon for him in my opinion. But it's a decently expensive weapon because of that utility. But giving all of my minions 10 stacks of Fortify so they take less damage, and then giving myself that as well is like really strong. Um, and then the AG will also have it as well too, so he'll also maybe not die as much. So I did have him equipped with the Kingmaker earlier. Because um, I dropped the Siege Taker and just made, I crafted one myself. With the fusing, fusing Heartbreaker recipe. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, so wave 14. I think we're still pretty safe for AFK. We I do, like, mana. have the big bomb things. I probably shouldn't stand in them, but... My build is pretty tanky, so... I think I have tested quite a bit of, uh... You know, taking damage. For this type of stuff. And, uh, the build holds most of the time. Especially when my Taste of Hate flask is up, the leftmost flask. If that flask is up, I take less damage, and I'm funneling 15% of extra physical damage into my Cold Resist, which is 5% uh, more than everything else with the Aegis Aurora, so... Pretty good defenses. I guess I got another one dude over here. Let's go Oils. Never escape this nightmare. So, plus, if you can actually do the simulacrum, 
Um, the drafts are decent because they get the, each each wave has like a new set of tiles, and so you can get, you know, of course you get all the delirium stuff, but then you also get all the other stuff. Like you get one that says unique, so you can get one that says, you know, maps, flight, all the kind of stuff. So you get everything just from doing this. Believe me, you will fall exile. So. It's pretty, it's pretty nice. It takes a little while to run these. This is the 30 waves if you do it all. Oh, we are taking some damage here. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, we got a double boss actually, oh shit. We got both of them on this wave. Oh shit. I shouldn't have walked through there maybe. So I will throw my uh, other Val then. I was gonna try to save for next wave, but it makes no sense to do that. We got both these guys. I should uh, pull one of them into the corner over here, if possible. And then I don't have to fight both of them at once, but they're not really following me because I have so many minions out. And my minions are taunting. Man, we wiped them out, though. <laughs> I took a hit. But this build can take a hit. Oh, we got a Megalomaniac with uh, four things on it. Wow. Grant nothing and start damage. Wait. Four things? Insulated, Hunter, Dominance. Oh, three things. Yeah, it's only three things. I don't think it can ever be four things. I don't know how good these are. Ten C for that one. Five C. But I have three things. I'm just gonna try to sell it for an exalt, I guess. And then I'll just keep lowering the price. Problem with these is they're it's very situational, so if someone's not exactly using all the things on it, they probably don't want it. Because otherwise they would just roll their cluster jewel how they want. So, but it does give you the option to get like some really weird combinations because uh, sometimes you might want like one notable on one cluster and then one notable on another cluster, but you don't have enough space to run that many different types of clusters. You gotta pick one. So the Megalomaniac would allow you to do that if you got the right ones on it. And it's also like kind of a cool like chase chase type item because uh, each one is just completely random new things, right? So it makes you look at every one basically because they all are. They all could be OP, or completely useless, you don't know, you gotta check. Belted Shard, nice. So, for how cheap these simulacrums are, they used to be an Exalt, but now they're like... Not this league, but... They used to be an Exalt in more previous leagues, and now they're only like 60-something C or something. It's definitely worth it to run it if you have it. I'd easily make 60 C during this. And not even doing all 30 waves, you can make 60 C before you even get to wave 20, probably. That was a hit. Oh, I should actually check my Pantheon. I don't know if I have a stun protect on anymore. <laughs> I forget what I had my last bit. I might have it on. I have the no bleed, I think. No bleed, no extra bleed while you're moving. Um, but re in reality, I should probably get the thing that says you can't get your blood. Or exalted shards, nice. I don't have enough space for this, do I? How many exalted shards? Alright, is everyone still alive? Yes? Wave 18. I, I think this is a boss one. I 
Oh shit, is that a degen? It's so hard to see where the degens are when there's this much stuff on the ground. When I'm ready and not before. I guess this is not the last one. Ten stacked decks. Yeah, look at all these scarabs and stuff. This used to be how people farm scarabs, by the way. Before this leak mechanic existed. Maybe that's why it's so cheap. Because the cost of scarabs is down. That actually makes sense. Oh shit, not that one. This one's expedition though, that's real good. Currency... Elf stuff... All these scarabs are good. This I'm saving in case my AG dies, it's a decent chest for the AG. Because it drops so often, it's pretty cheap, I don't care if he dies with it. Wave 19, so this is the last one maybe then? I need more mana. Oh god, these guys are extremely hasted. In case this is the boss one, I want to stick to the side. Until I see him, or until I clear a lot of the side. So that if we do fight him, we can fight him without having to fight all these guys at once. But maybe it's not the boss one. I guess 20 is definitely the boss one, though. I thought they came out like... Maybe it's random. I haven't really run too many of these. I usually do like once a league if I'm gonna run it. Or if it's uh, an achievement I or something. Will not be made a fool. Okay. I might be getting stunned a little bit here. I guess even if I had the Brian King, it would still stun me initially, and then then I would be protected from stun afterwards. Do I see the dude yet? Where is he? When I'm ready and not before. That's a huge DJ. <laughs> Stay away from that one. Well, I guess this is another easy AFK. Doesn't even hurt me. All right, easy through 20 waves, but 20 waves is kind of expected now. With all the new. So now we're on 21. So now this could get very shady. Must have been poison or something. I need more mana. Ok, 
see how tanky these guys get? This is just a regular white blue enemy here. And he's still getting the shock and the, the free the shock and the chill. So level 21 arc. No. That's not the good one, probably. What is this? Yeah, we're pretty full. Whoops. Alright. Turn to dump tab. Probably like an upgrade recipe or something, I don't know. My gem tab is full, I think. No, I have to figure that one out later. When I'm ready. Alright, what are we on? 22? Yeah, the big team. I taste the hate, is that right? That was lame drops. All items on the ground are just, yeah, okay. 300 experience gain, what do we actually have on here? Life, speed, chaos resistance, impale, maim. Oh, they have extra physical as chaos. Okay, that's what's going me then. I don't have, uh... I need to max out my chaos resist more. Or go CI, I guess, but... We're like, heavily invested into hybrid. The eye would be like completely different build. I have to change a lot of stuff around. So plus I don't think I can run discipline. I'd have to drop like either zealotry or purity. Dropping zealotry would be less damage. Dropping purity would be no ailment immunity. I guess I could get I ailment immunity run. on CI gear. That would be the way, maybe. Build kind of good. 24. Wave 24. We still have duration on our on our Val skeletons. That's pretty sweet. When I'm ready and not before. Oh shit. I'm gonna pop the other one too, I guess. It's still no boss. I guess, uh... Oh shit, there he is. <laughs> Spoke too soon, man. Spoke too soon.
Did I get the curse off? I didn't. There it is. Yeah. Oh, shit! He one-slapped me. I shouldn't have been standing like that, probably. I thought I was out of his range. I thought the skeletons were gonna get him. I was at 82, shit. Actually, decent experience running simulacrums if you're not dying. Maybe I should try to do that. Level up with simulacrum. 82? Well, I started at like 60, right? I was at like 59, maybe? I made it to 82 without dying. 60, 70, 80. That was like 20%-ish. So if I start above 80% at the simulacrum, I can probably level without dying. Alright. We need our zombies back, though. I guess we'll stop running precision for one second. Nine. Make sure to put this back in. I need more mana. Pass that bone offering works. All right. All right. Hopefully he doesn't slap me right at the entrance. I think he's on the other side though, but he is kind of. He can see me from here. I think. Yeah, there he is. Oh, we need to move along quickly. This is why this one's kind of dangerous, because it's in a straight line here, so... You can definitely slam right where we are. Like he's doing it right now. He's got the extra chaos damage, that's bad. When I'm ready and not before. Problem is, is he would he can off-screen slam me. I can't really see when he's gonna do it. Alright, yeah, we'll speed up. Cause he's such a fatty. Look at him. I guess I don't have as much shock and on him than I should be, right? Bitterbots might be actually better for these fights. Because I don't have, uh, I don't really have, like, enough crit to guarantee. I'm gonna get the full amounts. Too bad I can't do, like, brittle shenanigans with this. Then we'd have disgusting crit. This would be like the perfect amount of uh, not investing into crit to have a brittle, but I don't know. It'd be kind of OP. Minion brittle. Kind of crazy that brittle still hasn't been changed at all, really. Maybe GGG thinks people haven't really, like, covered it enough. Every time I see somebody, like, sacrificing their entire build set to run Brittle, they just blast everything in the game instantly. It's like so much free crit. And it's usually, like, silly setup. That's stock. None of these are good, right? Breach ring? Hilarious. Is that the princess saver? I don't think we want that. Okay. So that was the boss. Is it boss every time now? I forget how the how the these later stages I'm not sure exactly how it works. Everybody has chaos damage, though. So this is gonna be bad. Sometimes you just roll bad rolls on your simulacrum. And it just synergizes with killing you. So we did get a boss. Here he is. This is the big boy too. The bigger boy. 
The big one. This is the guy that does the blasters. The big blaster. Oh. I need more mana. The reign of uh, splinters. When I'm ready and not before. Minions are not them. They could get really dangerous. With like extra damage and stuff. And where's this dude? Oh, he passed me somehow. He like teleports and then puts G gems everywhere. So sometimes it's really annoying. Oh, there he is. So. I guess it makes sense to put the Skelly Boys down here. But I don't want to be on the straightaway here because if he blasts, I'm going to be right in it. Yeah, here it comes. Yeah, here's the blast. Did he like blast in one direction like this? If you're on a straightaway and he does that, then you're just like, you won't be able to get around him. And then this thing just keeps getting bigger until it explodes, so. You don't really want to be next. You don't want to be on that side of him. Oh shit, I'm dead. Regen, regen, regen. Oh, he's on stat, actually. All right. Oh, there he's blasting again. All right. Good time to get the DPS on. It's unfortunate that his energy shield recharged so much. I don't. If I was a chaos build, he'd be dead already. Or if he had calling strike, I guess. I actually have to knock down his energy shield again when he charges up. All right, well, this one is actually working out really well. And the AG is still alive. AG has not died. All right, I guess I don't need to put that away yet. Uh, we do need to summon one more zombie again. Back to nine. I usually put this on. I have the gold amount already, right? Make sure to put bone offering in. Good. Alright, wave 26. Yeah, this is taking a little longer than I thought it was going to. My bad. This is the final boss battle. So. My bad! Build's too OP. I, you know, we would have been dead by now with any other build, probably. Poison really? Concoction I'm definitely wasn't sure. going to be uh, hitting wave 26 on this, probably. At least not with the gear that I have. i put another skilly. So, I mean, these waves get kind of crazy, because just like the regular minions are like all like crazy. They just have so many buffs, they're like all like mini bosses now. Which, depending on which minion it is, might be scary. Luckily, I don't think Semilacrum has the, uh... Oh, Patient, that's nice. Uh, I don't think it has the, like, uh, the winged demon dudes that shoot the, the AoE. Because that would be really impossible. Alright, wave 27. And I already used my Val Skeletons though. I'll have to charge another one up. These guys are going to be very scary with the splinter attacks and the explosions. Did we just drop a 21 bone offering? Too much clutter. Damn. Oh shit, the boss is here too. Damn. I didn't put the stuff away. I can't even pick it up. I think it came from the, uh, from an incubator. The gem incubator gave it to me.
So, I guess if we die, we can put our stuff away and then pick it up. Alright, I have my skellies. Skelly boys, go. Skelly team. Skelly team. Win, win, win. Hit them hard. Oh, shit. I think this is clear one, guys, here. Push them off real quick. Alright. Bearing it down to just the boss does make it a lot better. Because now I just have to dodge his mechanics one-on-one. -on -one without having to deal with all those other minions. I should be able to do that successfully without dying. Oh shit, he's doing this move. We want to be over here. Nice. Ready and not before. There's a lot of explosion on that one. Uh, I can probably switch to single target without getting killed by him. If he jumps on me, I'm dead. Alright, single target. Oh shit, we wanna be up on this side of him. I need more mana. Problem is every time he does that move, we're gonna have to like get his energy shield down again. Which is taking a little bit of time actually. Even with my single target. Now we're chunking him. Actual life total. They like teleport around so much. The slam is the, the thing we maybe have to worry about. And the degens, but the degens, as long as we're standing in the right spot, we should be fine. I don't think his auto attack hurts me. Which is nice, because most of most builds I've played before his auto attack one shots me. <laughs> so <laughs> having some defense is nice. Usually when I see like a delirium mirror in a tier 16 that randomly shows up, I go, oh no, that's delirium. And then the boss spawns later in the map and slaps me. Because you can't, you're one-shotting all the small minions, but you're not one-shotting this dude in tier 16 delirium maps. Is he charging up again? It'd be nice if he didn't charge up ever again. Because then you don't have to worry about... Oh, there he goes, though. Alright, so bring out the boys, then. And get him down before he goes back to his attack. Thank you. Yeah, this part takes a really long time, unless you have, like, disgusting damage. I do have pretty disgusting damage, but not in the scheme of, like, every player in the path of XL, you know what I mean? Because people get, like, really ridiculous gear in uh, Soft Core. And that's usually never me. I'm usually like, decently casual with my gear. We got a special map, that's nice. Um, yeah. Alright, we have to go back to clear. To start. When I'm ready, and not before. If the boss shows up again and we get down to the last part, we'll, uh, switch. Hopefully, without taking a hit. Level 21 bone offering. Alright, we're at wave 28. This is the farthest I've made it this league. This is the time I usually end up dying. I didn't resummon. I have one guy to resummon, actually. I need more mana.
Oh shit, double boss. I got both of them. Oh, this is bad. You need to get these minions cleared out of here so you can focus on the bosses. I can't get blasted by these guys. Maybe we can like lure one of them over here. Or maybe they just won't come over here and we'll just be able to do all the minions. All the smaller minions. Oh, there he is. He's charging. It's nice that that attack doesn't hurt me, actually. Usually. Cause that attack can be real bad. Oh, he's blasting. I don't know if I can get over there right now. I would like to try to cast this on him though. He's got a degen over in the corner here too. Oh yeah, there he is. This is the minor one. But he can still slam, so we gotta watch out. I think we can go into single target now. I can make the switch quick. Oof, that was dangerous. Alright. AG is still alive. When I'm ready and not before. Don't slam me. I saw it. I saw it coming. I think we're good on everything though, right? We didn't lose anybody, just me. <laughs> I'm the weakest link out of my uh, team. The 21 bone offering. I don't think 21 bone offering is worth it though, right? I need the, it's better to have the 20% increased gas, the 23% increased gas speed, I think. Uh, okay. I need more mana. Oh, shit. We just have to fight this one, I think. While the other guy's doing his charge up or whatever. Hopefully he doesn't do the thing where he slams across the thing. But the degens. Oh shit, the degens. Oh, he's putting another one? Oh my god. Oh, I can walk up here? Oh shit. I don't know if that, that helps me that much, but I never knew I could walk up here. Oh shit, the, the degens are everywhere. How do I get these degens to explode? Doing another charge up. I 
<laughs> I'll just stand up here. Oh shit, I can't cast down there. Hit him. When I'm ready and not before. This guy's almost down. Okay, he just slammed. I'm gonna switch the Smiver's Mark onto the weaker one. Oh shit! Was I being bled? I'd have to look at the bot, I guess, on that one. Yeah. Did I lose anyone? I didn't lose anyone. Maybe I just didn't have fully leveled gems before. And that's why I was having a bad time keeping the AG alive. I think the extra chaos damage and degen type of stuff is not good for me. Because it's, uh, my energy shield is kind of worthless against it. Yeah. Oh, this is a bad spot. I need more mana. This guy's is always slamming. That's like his, uh, prerogative. Like a full time slammer. Look at him go, slamming away. Is he dead yet? Alright. Curse this guy then. Yeah, the last time I did this too, standing in that beam for like one or two seconds felt like getting Shaper Beam, so that was also very bad, because uh, it is pretty easy to get tagged by it like, for like a second before you flame dash away. And if you're already dead from that, that's not good. I need to get over here. There we go. Perfect. I wish I had Skelly, the big Skelly team for this part. But I guess he's not going to be knocked down enough anyway after this one. When I'm ready and not before. I need him to blow up the thing so I can get out of here. <laughs> there he goes. Okay, Fully skull full Skelly team right now. Get in there, guys. Hit him down. He's only taking 2% chill and, and shock. Damn. I should test switching the skitter bots to see if he gets more than two. Because that's really low. Oh, sh damn. I got lazy. <laughs> I was AFK taking his auto attack, so I was like, I don't need to. I need to move, right? Let's test it real quick. If I switch to uh, Skitterbots, I have them right here. Because I was using that before. It'll actually be cheaper on my mana, too. Oh, okay. We won't have the Zealotry crit, but. <clears throat> Yeah, it's already more than 2%. 5 and 8. So that should be better damage then.
still pretty low. He's got crazy resistance. Elemental is not... There's like so much mitigation against Elemental in the game. So... But Flesh Crafter does ignore their uh, resistance, so that's nice. I need full skeleton to get this uh, energy shield knocked off. Damn, he's so tanky. He just keeps getting his whole, whole energy shield back again. When I'm ready and not before. I need to somehow do some chaos damage to him. Or I guess Kingmaker Calling Strike would have helped. This thing. Right, I need to get out of this D-Gen. We have another Skelly, but I should save it for next wave. If I can. My minions are doing a good job of taking the damage from his auto attack. He's like not even looking at me. I mean, I guess this is what happens when they try to make the game harder, right? They just, it's literally just more health. The hardest modes in like Ghost of Tsushima and stuff like that are just like more health too. Like 29. Can we take wave 29? Actually, this is the farthest I've been. I think I've died on 28 or before every time so far. I gotta bring out the Skelly team, I think. Oh shit. It's double boss again? Is it just double boss every time for the rest of the waves now? Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is he coming up here with me? Oh shit. <laughs> he is. He is coming up here with me. The mini I think the mini boss is harder than the major boss though. This guy's way worse. The other guy at least likes just the other guy just heals himself a lot, really. Which is annoying, but You probably won't die unless you're the D-Gen. Off. Oh, yeah. All right, well, I guess I might not complete this one either. I'm so close though. I think I need a little bit more damage probably. Should we go back to Zealotry? I don't know. I think it might be better to keep Skitterbrots for this. Too bad I can't run balls, but all right, this is the last. Uh, when I'm ready and not before. The last portal, so either die or survive this last little bit. I need more mana. Um, but like in terms of currency gains, we definitely killed it already. Getting to 29 is plenty enough. Am I still using that? Oh, I'm still using the single target right now. That's that might be a problem actually.
Damn, I can't stand here. Too much shit. Damn, he's following me here too. I'm trying to get away from the Boston guys so I can't, so I don't get slammed when I switch gems here. And then I can hopefully clear this. These little guys. Which aren't that little. For this wave. Like, look at this one little, this one little guy cursed is still not, I can't kill him. He's got so much extra health. Need, like insane damage. This guy's got so much energy shield, we're never gonna kill him first. We need to curse this guy down. Uh, I think it's worth to go single target actually now. <laughs> Fight's a little complicated. Can he jump up here? The question is, will it, can he find me up? Oh shit, he can. Oh, he left. Oh shit, it does hit me up here. There's so many D-Gens on the other side, I can't even get over there. Uh, Skelly Boys, help me out. Shoot him. When I'm ready and not I saw that. I saw it coming. Go back up here real quick. For a quick talk. I think the other guy came over now, so. Actually, it's bad because he's gonna start shooting his stuff too. All you need, you just need enough defenses to be able to walk past their, them while they're doing their crazy auto attack slams in this thing. If you can take the one hit while you walk by, then you can uh, regroup to throw down the other skellies again. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 Fuck myself up on the top of the ship. This is the place. This is the secret, the secret place to stand. Although the guy can still hit me, I think, if he stands over here. We're running out of skellies, so I gotta put more out. Oh shit, he came over here. Did we kill the other guy yet? What killed me? I, I'm nowhere near anything. Invisible. That's bullshit, man. I think I killed one of them. That was wave 29. Damn. Oh, nice. Next time, maybe.